I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and today I am unboxing something. Yes, that's right. I'm unboxing this. This is the Philips Hue dimmer switch. So basically, if you've got Philips Hue lights, you need to be able to control them from the wall and this will do that. Now, this isn't wired into the mains or anything like that. This is powered by the C2450 battery and uh, yeah, it goes on the wall. So what I thought I'd do is unbox it and also show you how you can set it up to work with your Hue system. Now this, it's worth mentioning that this isn't Bluetooth enabled. So if you've got Hue lights that are set up just via Bluetooth and not with the hub, then it won't work. So uh, yeah, bear that in mind. So uh, yeah, let's get it out of the box and uh, see what we've got. So this was very kindly sent to me by one of my patrons, Becky. She's a lovely lady. So thank you for this, Becky. So these retail around about sort of 17 to 14 pounds. Uh, let's get it out. There's not much to it. There's just literally this in the box. Some little instruction guides. What have we got? It's like a map. The Hue dimmer switch is a battery powered dimmer for the Hue system that controls your preferred light settings that are configured in the Hue app. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, right, it's pretty straightforward. I think this is like safety warnings. Yes, right, okay, well, it's pretty simple really. So what we've got here is the dimmer switch and um, it comes in two parts. This is like the wall mounty part and this is just the remote. So you don't necessarily need to mount it onto the wall. You can just keep this. Uh, we've got one of these next to the bed to turn off all the bedroom lights just by a few presses, but it's got a magnet in it, so it clips in. Or, you know, it's really good if you've got kids and they like don't want to get out of bed to turn the lights on. You could put this on their bedside table and they could press it and turn the lights on. So um, it's basically on the back of it, it's got a little frame and the frame comes with two adhesive pads that you can stick it to the wall, or you can use the screw holes, which are there. Now, these don't go on a normal UK light switch, but there is a way around that, and I will show you that in a future video. I might even show you how I'm gonna mount this one onto the wall, but I think, I think the idea is you're meant to kind of stick them up on the wall and uh, use them like a light switch, but obviously, you'll have a light switch on your wall already, and it can be a bit confusing to people who just come to your house and don't really know it, and like oh that's the light switch and it's it's a mess so sometimes it is quite a good idea to cover up the regular light switches and i will make a video about how best to do that very soon so uh, yeah at, at the moment it doesn't do anything it's not configured we need to join it to our hub and uh, to do that we need to go into the hue software on my phone so just give me a second and i'll make sure you can see my screen and i will go through that process with you excellent so uh, we've got this and i think from memory actually let's just see what the uh, app says so we go into settings and then accessory setups and then we need to add accessory and what is it it is a hue dimmer switch Okay, so remove the plastic strip from the battery compartment. Ensure the LED of the front of the dimmer switch is blinking orange. I'm just going to do it with my teeth because I don't have a spare hand. There we go. <laughs> right. Um, ah. Oh, no. It's not blinking orange. I need help. If the LED on the dimmer switch is not blinking orange... Oh, hang on. Is it? Yes, it is blinking orange. Right, it is. It's just doing it very slowly. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Very slowly blinking. Yes, right, okay. I was expecting more of a... Right, okay, LED is blinking. Uh, searching for your dimmer switch. Oh, my light has turned green on here, so it must be finding it. Uh, now, I think I'm going to set this up in the hallway, but so i can just show you guys it here and now i'm going to pretend that it's another light switch in my office okay your dimmer switch is connected you can now connect additional lights to the dimmer switch find them in the light switch you can now choose where to use your switch okay so i'll continue setup uh, we'll say it's going in the office there we go and we can mess with the uh, studio lights as well right your dimmer switch has been set up for the office 
with a standard configuration, but you can also customize the switch's settings. Uh, you can press once to turn on lights, or you can press multiple times to cycle between scenes, and that is what I mean. So I'm going to customize it. That is essentially added. We can give it a name, so we'll call it the... It's actually the second switch in here, so we'll say Office Switch 2 and it's controlling one room. You can make it control multiple rooms. So in theory, I think you can maybe make it turn all the lights in your house off. So if you have one of these in the hallway and you're going out the door and you think, oh, I've left all the lights on, you could probably control set this to turn everything off. So the first press turns the lights on, second press does one scene, third press does another scene, fourth one does another scene, and fifth press does another scene after that. So obviously you don't need to set something for everything, but Let's see, we'll just go into the office scenes. Uh, what do we have? So, I have got a setting for uh, bot bedtime, because that's where James sleeps. Um, so what I will do, actually I'm gonna make it so when I press it for uh, the subsequent time, it's going to do my wicker man light setup. We'll do that. Yep, there we go, wicker man, excellent. And then third press, we'll make it do the lights for dim. Now let's actually let's make it let's make it how it is at James's bedtime. So there we go on the third press. And then fourth press, what should we make it do? We'll make it do bright. Excellent. Right. Okay. So cool. That is that. And we'll just press the tick. You've got to remember to press the tick, or else it won't save it. Okay. Ding. and that should be it so in theory now if I press this I should turn the lights off now I've got the studio lights on so it won't go completely dark but the lights behind me will go out so if I press that they have gone out can confirm so if I press this on the first press what happens there we go lights are on give it another press What's that? There we go, that's my wicker man setting. It's all gone a bit orange and red. And then press it again. Oh, it's really hard to see. But yeah, that is James's bedtime setting because it's, it's very, it's slightly dark. I think the lights are only on at 1%. And then we press it again. There you go, it's just a sort of general on. But also you can, um, whee, there we go. There we go, it's working. So, and then what you can do is these two buttons. So you've got four buttons on this unit. You've got the power on button. You have got the brightness up and the brightness down and then a power off. So we can turn the brightness down just by holding it. There we go, it's turning the brightness down. Make it go back up again. It's cool, isn't it? It's, and it's sort of, you know, so configurable. And then we can just press the off button and they all turn off. So yeah, you can have like two switches per room. So you could have one on the wall, like in a tradi traditional switching sense. And then I could even have one on my desk. So if I wanted to just change the lighting setup, let the ceremony commence. I can do that just by pressing the button. It's smart, isn't it? It's, it's, really, it's really simple. And like, what's that? In less than like six minutes or so, we've got it all set up. So yeah, um, I did a video about changing the batteries in these. I'll leave a link to that. Um, the batteries do last about two years. Obviously it depends how much use the switch gets, but even in the sort of areas where the switches do get a lot of use, it's probably about two years battery life. Yeah, so that's the Hue dimmer switch all set up. So what I, what I do will, I'll be, I'll do, so what I'll do is I'll make a separate video about mounting these onto the wall in a way that covers up your existing light switches but also retains some use of them because you know you might live somewhere that's rented and you want to fit a hue system but you don't want to go sticking stuff onto the walls or screwing holes into the wall to fix these up so yeah it's a it's a non-destructive way of using these as traditional light switches and also you don't need to be an electrician to do it it's pretty straightforward so yeah that will be in a future video but for now that is it that is the hue dimmer switch all set up and uh, it's a breeze if you have any questions or comments then please do put them below but i think that is it from me for now so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun see ya